welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. If you're watching this, you have nothing better in your life to do right now. Well, I just restarted the level. We weren't doing very good, so I res I went and restarted the level, got a few things done, and then, and then started this video. <coughs> um, just waiting for some sun. I know. Well, now I now get to show you the real reason why it, why what grave busters in this game. When I get enough sun, well, they cost seventy five sun. Well, if you're wondering why they call grave busters, then oh. well, they bust graves. Enough said. They bust graves. Enough said. All right. So it took about fifteen seconds for them to bust graves, though. Oh, sorry, ten seconds. So it's not really that reliable. Anyway, uh, there's not much left to do in this level. All I can say is that I've just done a lot. See, bra I, Great Busters are really helpful if you're having trouble with a large waves of enemies. Enemies. My reckon is that you should bust all the graves before start. Doing the level. If you do, you won't have any trouble. Simple as that. Simple as that, really. Won't have any troubles with the final wave. There will only be one zombie in the final wave of the Great Buster. If you were, if you're smart enough to take out all the. If you're smart enough to take out all the graves, then you're good enough. One of the best zombies in this to do on this is that some can die even sprout bucket heads. Also, the fume shrooms don't just have the power to go through fume doors, screen doors. They they can also take out large waves of zombies. Just went and replaced my middle line with a re with a repeat instead of an ice pea. For some reason, some most appear on the middle line. I was really sure there was a. Must be imagining things because I really thought there was a. I'm really sure that another grave appeared in, in this level. If you take out the grave that the zombie is on, look, look, see, they're taking out all the zombies at once. Some zombies you even drop diamonds. Give you a thousand pound. Oh yeah, this is what you get next. The Alamatic. Alamanic. Keeps track of all plants and zombies that you encounter. I'll just show you what it does right now. Now. You see, it tells you every plant you've met. So far, and all the zombies flagged. Who you out so far? Oh yeah, this should not be fun. Ever play the game called Whack a Zombie? It's just like hunting squibbles. <laughs> Squirrel for my main game. No, I swear that dick holes in all. Yeah, instead of squirrels, it's zombies. Instead of a shovel, use a mallet. Instead of me, it's you. 
This is a really hard mini game when recording. When no, when recording, this is actually quite a hard mini game because it takes a quite a few hits to to take down a bucket head. Have you didn't whack a zombie? There's even a plus. You can earn sun from zombies. Whack, 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 whack. I'll come back when the video's done. And we're back! Well, we got the new, one of the better plants in this vi in this game. The Hypno Shroom. It makes all zombies fight feet. And guess what? We encountered a new zombie. The football zombie! Ah! So scary. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to come back to you. So next time on Plants vs Zombies, I'll be commenting on how fa how bad the football zombie is. See you guys then. Bye.